Sam Bankman Freed in court, accused of stealing billions from customers of his now bankrupt company, FTX. Sam Bankman Freed is a huge case. FTX went to become from nothing to a giant company. It was running TV ads with celebrities. This is a massive case. FTX was a marketplace where you could buy and sell cryptocurrency. Prosecutors allege Bankman Freed used customer money to prop up his own hedge fund, buy luxury real estate, and donate to U.S. political campaigns. The 31-year-old pleaded not guilty to the charges against him, but admitted publicly in the past to making mistakes in the FTX collapse. He's violated the conventional wisdom of all criminal defense lawyers. Don't talk to anyone, keep quiet, keep low, keep a very quiet profile. Lawyers for Bankman Freed describe him as a math nerd who didn't pay attention to risk management. Prosecutors argue the former billionaire orchestrated a scheme to build an empire. One Canadian crypto researcher says the case will provide lessons for the entire industry. The SBF case will be looked upon as the sort of key milestone narrative that told the world and investors that you need adults in the room. FTX was operating out of the Bahamas where Bankman Freed was arrested last December. The company was previously based in Hong Kong. Tightening government regulation there made the more friendly regulatory environment in the Bahamas particularly appealing. The net is only as secure as the weakest jurisdiction that's allowed to enter and do business in your country. Which is why consumers are urged to do their homework before putting money into a crypto exchange. I would recommend that Canadians use ones that, that have decided to make the investment in operating here in Canada under the regulatory regime. Bakeman Freed's trial could last weeks. Prosecutors say they will call former members of his inner circle to testify against him. And if he's convicted, he could face more than 100 years in prison. Joel Senek, Global News, Washington.